find an antiderivative of mod x. Small f of x is equal to mod x on let us say the interval minus 1 1. So, this is mod x from minus 1 to 1. So, to find an antiderivative, we will use fundamental theorem of calculus. So, fix any x in between the interval minus 1 to 1. That x may be here, may be here. Okay. So, fix x in minus 1, 1 answer if x is less than 0 then what is mod x minus x. Now we shall find capital F of x antiderivative using fundamental theorem of calculus. So it is integral from the lower limit minus 1 to this fixed point ax small f of t dt. So this is equal to integral minus 1 to x. What is f of t? It is mod t. This is equal to integral minus 1 to x. Now, here t varies from minus 1 to x. t varies from minus 1 to x. So, t is also negative. So, mod t is minus t. Minus t dt. This is equal to minus integral minus 1 to x t dt. This is if x plus than 0. Okay. Now, if x greater than 0, we are fixing an x in the interval minus 1 to 1. So, x may be here. If x is here, then mod x is actually x. If x is positive, mod x is x we will construct f of x. So, f of x is equal to integral minus 1 to x f of t dt this is equal to integral so integral minus 1 to x is integral minus 1 to 0 plus 0 integral 0 to x minus 1 to 0 f of t dt plus integral 0 to x integral 0 to x f of t dt this is equal to now here t varies from minus 1 to 0 in the first integral so t is negative f of t is mod t here also f of t is mod t so when t is negative mod t is minus t. So, in the first integral, it is integral minus 1 to 0 mod t is minus t minus t dt plus integral 0 to x. Now, in the second integral, t varies from 0 to x. So, t is positive and t is positive mod t is t it. So, this is the antiderivative when x is greater than 0. And uh, this answer is enough for us. So, the antiderivative can be written in a consolidated form, namely Shall I write here? Thus, 
Thus, capital F of x, which is the antiderivative we have constructed using fundamental theorem of calculus, it is. So, if x less than 0 and if x greater than or equal to 0, if x less than 0, the value of the antiderivative is minus integral minus 1 to x t dt. This is if x less than 0 and if x is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, then f of x is this plus this integral minus 1 to 0 minus t dt plus integral 0 to x t dt. You may evaluate this, uh, but this answer is enough. How do I evaluate these things? Using the concept that integral is area under the curve. So let us first plot uh, the graph of uh, t. So here it is minus 1, here it is 1, here we have x. So here it is, this uh, t can be taken inside, so you have minus t. So f of t is equal to minus t. That is like this. And uh, here you have to find out the area from minus 1 to x. That means you have to find out the area of this portion. Which is, which is not a triangle, but uh, which is a rhombus so this area can be found out and if x is greater than or equal to 0 if x is greater than or equal to 0 then what is the graph of the function this is f of t is equal to mod t so integral minus 1 to 0 minus t dt that means area of this triangle full plus area from 0 to x t dt that means area of this portion. So this much area will be this quantity. So that we that would be an antiderivative of the given function f of t is equal to mod t. On minus one one. This area you can find out similarly this area also you can find out this area would be this number and this much area would be the second number thank you